Hey, 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 stop that. What's up? Oh, I see. Well, you asked for it. Kids, it's time for me to tell you the story of how I met your mother. It all started about 10 years ago, when I was a young engineer and she just graduated from high school. She was stunning. We shared lots of the same interests and we did everything together. One day, while we were in the park, she confessed that she wanted to continue her studies in Rome at the Academy of Fine Arts. It was her lifelong dream. I thought it was a really good idea, and Rome would also be the perfect place for my PhD. So, we decided to go together. We'll never forget our first day in university. The Italian students made us immediately feel like family. They showed us the classrooms and the labs where we were going to study. We were best friends right off the bat. Italy is full of wonderful places to study, even outside. One in particular was an inspiration for both me and your mother. And you believe this architecture was built more than 2,000 years ago and it's still in use today? The Italian students were really friendly people. We often went to eat in their homes. Hey John, what are your plans for tomorrow? We're going to Florence to visit Maria. She's an Italian friend of Lee's and she's studying fashion design. Lee, we need to get going or we'll miss our train to Rome. Hey, what's that? It's the Brunelleschi Dome, the largest masonry dome ever built in history. I'm becoming more and more convinced of our choice every day. This country is the ideal place to study and do research. Life is great, full of state-of-the-art facilities surrounded by beauty and excellence. I was so impressed by the quality of teaching and their professors, especially with their method. I'm sure this place will provide us wide-ranging and well-deserved success. Hey, Dad. When will you take us to Italy? Easy, champ. You'll study there soon. <laughs> <laughs>